What's up guys, Trav White here. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about the science of style and grooming. If you love those topics, please come join my Facebook group, Mannered Mains. You can also download my app, Mannered Mains. It's now in the App Store, go check it out. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to give your hair insane volume. This one is for all my fine textured bros out there. See, my hair is really fine. It means it's lightweight, it gets weighed down, it can get greasy. So this video, I'm gonna take you step by step on exactly what I do to give my hair volume and keep it styled looking full. I'm gonna show you guys how I go from this flat grease ball with no volume to this full mane that you can walk out of your house feeling confident rocking every single day. All right, let's get into it. Oh, yeah. So first off, I want to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, Blue Mon. Now, for those who don't know, Blue Mon, AKA Joseph Andrews, has been a hair YouTuber for ages. He's one of the OG hair YouTubers and his hair product line has been out for a couple years now. He sells a whole line of styling products like creams, clays, pomades. And one thing I love about these products is that it says the level of hold and the shine finish right on the packaging. So for example, if you want a light hold and a matte finish, you you know, you can snag their hybrid cream clay. If you want a high hold and high shine, then you can check out their pomade. So since this video is all about how to add volume to your hair, I'm gonna be using the Ascend Volume Cream from Blue Mon and a little bit of the Cloud Control Oil. The Cloud Control Oil is one of my favorites. It's a blend of all natural carrier and essential oils. The four carrier oils are sunflower, sesame, coconut, and olive oil. So it has a really good combination of penetrating oils into the cuticle to protect it from swelling and also sealing oils to really like walk in and fight frizz. So it is a little thick for me, for my hair type, which is really fine hair. So I use just a little bit at a time. I don't use a whole lot, probably like two drops max. And then the rest of the oil blend are essential oils, which are all used, you know, for the fragrance which smells really nice. So be sure to check out Blue Mom products. I'll link to them in the description. So the first step is gonna to be to gather everything that you'll need. Now I am going to wash and condition my hair. You guys don't have to do this process when you wash and condition, you could just wet your hair, but I find that it works best for me on the days that I shampoo. So the first thing I'm gonna need is to get your shampoo of choice. For this purpose, I'm gonna be using the Odell Volumizing Line. Next, you'll need a blow dryer and a round brush. You'll also need a wide tooth comb, which will be optional. I'll mention why a little bit later. You're going to need one hair clip or something to hold up you know, a section of your hair. Don't worry, I'll try not to make the sectioning out part too complicated. You'll need the Ascend Volume Cream, which does have a heat protectant built into it. The Blue Mon Cloud Control Oil, which is mainly for taming the frizz and then moisturizing the ends of your hair at the end. And that's everything that I'm gonna be using. So let's move on to the next step. So after you have everything, the next step is just gonna to be to wash and condition your hair like you normally would. So for this process, I'm going to be washing and conditioning my hair with the Odell Volumizing Line, the shampoo and conditioner. It's an ultra lightweight formula designed to give volume specifically for people with straight and wavy, fine textured hair. So it's been one of my recent go-tos for shampoo and conditioning lately, just to help give my hair some volume, but use a shampoo and conditioner of your choice. So I'm going to shampoo my scalp only, and then I'm gonna apply conditioner from about mid shaft to ends and let it sit there for about three to five minutes. After finishing up the shower, the next step is gonna to be to towel dry it until it's damp. So the way that I do that is I take my microfiber turban and I wrap up my hair and let that sort of towel soak up all of the excess water for about 15 to 20 minutes. But you can probably get away with about 10 minutes. The important thing is that it, this process works best if your hair is damp and not super soaked. Let it dry in your turban between 10 and 20 minutes. So after my hair has dried for about 15 minutes, I'll take the turban off and get ready for the volumizing process. Now, before we dive into the details of, of this, this is not gonna be a full volumizing blowout like you would see at a salon. When you're with a professional stylist, they're gonna section off several parts of your head, three to four parts, right? They're going to blow dry with the round brush and then let your hair sit in the curl holders while they move around your head and section off different parts of your hair. Now, of course, their result is gonna be superior because 
they're professionals, but <laughs> I don't have time for all that, right? This is gonna be a much more basic version, something that most everyone can do at home because I'm not a professional stylist and doing blowouts on yourself is a skill that takes a while to master. And quite frankly, it's not something that I have the time to do right now. Maybe in the future I will, and I'll make another video on it, but for now, this is meant to be a really simple process that all you guys can do at home. If you're just a guy with flat hair, you wanna add some volume to it. So this is like a blowout light, right? This is a shortcut to get volume quickly. The amateur blowout, if you will. So once you take off your turban, you're gonna apply the Blue Man Ascend Volume Cream to the roots of your hair, all over the roots. So to do this, you want to squeeze about a nickel size or if you have thinner hair, about a dime size of the Ascend Volume Cream into your hands. And then you're gonna emulsify it by rubbing your hands together, really warm it up. So once it's spread evenly all over your palms, you want to apply it at your roots all over. So apply it to the back roots, the front roots, the side roots. If you have super long hair, you can even come out from your roots about an inch to an inch and a half you know, to apply apply it to your roots plus a little bit. The volume cream does have a heat protectant built into it, so you don't need to add more heat protectant unless you just wanna add some to the rest of your hair. Now, I don't wanna do that because I don't wanna weigh my hair down with any other products. I'm also going to be using the lowest heat setting on my blow dryer, so it's gonna be the least damaging. And I'll only really be exposing specific parts of my hair to heat for a few seconds at a time. So I'm not gonna use a heat protectant for the rest of my hair, but the roots will be fine. Uh, so the next step is gonna to be to take your wide tooth comb and part your hair down the middle. For me, parting my hair down the middle with the wide tooth comb makes it a lot easier to section out the top and the bottom of my hair. You don't have to do that. You can just section it out immediately if you want to, but I prefer to do it by parting just to make the sectioning cleaner. The next step is gonna to be to actually section out your hair. So imagine there's a wall right in front of you and you're just gonna press both hands on it. So then you're gonna turn your hands upside down, like you're about to do like a shoulder press upward, but then you're just gonna take your thumbs and grab your hair from the top of your ears, sliding it backwards and pulling that hair sort of straight up in, into the air. This is gonna divide the top half and the bottom half. So make sure to hold the hair with one hand and use your other hand to sort of pull any hairs caught in between down. So you wanna make that as clean of a section as possible. So then you're gonna take the hair that's in your hand and you're gonna twist it into a bun. You're gonna do this kind of like a double twist. You're gonna be twisting your hair from the base outward while also twisting your hair in a circle, sort of around into a bun. And then you're gonna take your hair clip and slide it on the top of your hair, clipping down that tail on the top of your hair so that bun doesn't fall out. This is gonna section out the top and the bottom. And so once this section is evenly clipped off, you're going to move on to using your blow dryer and round brush. Now this is the only really tricky part of the whole process, and this is sort of the amateur blowout shortcut part. So the main thing to remember is you're gonna to wanna to grab your hair in one to two inch sections. Take your round brush with your dominant hand and hold your hair with your non-dominant hand. And you're gonna place the brush on top of your sectioned off hair, sort of at the base, and then you're gonna wrap your hair around it and keep your brush in your dominant hand. And then you're gonna pick up your blow dryer. So the mistake a lot of people make here is that they don't wrap their hair around the brush flat. So they tend to just wrap it in like a big chunk, which makes it really hard for the round brush to move cleanly through. So you want the brush to flow through the hair as smoothly as possible as you blow dry it. So be sure to wrap your hair around the brush as flat as possible. So once you've done that, you're going to take your blow dryer and press it right up against the brush. And you're going to start to blow dry upward and brush upward as well. About every half inch, you want to be sure to twist the brush a little bit more. So you want to blow dry upward because you want to apply heat to the opposite direction that your hair naturally lays, which is downward. This will tease your hair to lay with much more volume. So you're going to do that whole process. You're going to work your way around your head in the one to two inch sections. Now this is normally the part where a professional stylist would make two to three more sections and do that same process and then hold each section you know, in a curl holder, but we're not gonna do that. We're not professionals. We're just regular dudes at home with flat hair that wanna give it some volume. So once you finish with the bottom section, take the clip out and you're going to do the same thing with the top section. 
you're going to grab, you know, one to two inch sections of your hair, wrap it around your brush and blow dry upward. And then slightly twist the brush each time as you move about a half an inch. And do this around your whole head again for the top portion. So by now, your hair should really be starting to, to dry. You know, it's not gonna be damp, it's not gonna be wet. It should be starting to dry out a little bit. So once you're finished with that, this last part is gonna be really important. So you're gonna turn the heat up on the blow dryer just slightly, and you're gonna to start to blow dry directly at the roots of your hair. And you wanna get the roots all over. So you wanna get the front roots, the side roots, the back. If you need to flip your hair upside down and blow dry your roots that way, flip your hair over on one side and blow dry your roots, flip your hair over to the other side, blow dry your roots. You really just wanna be sure that you're adding heat to the roots all over. And this is gonna be the most important part at the end. So by now, you should be really starting to see some volume. So the last step is gonna take a tiny, tiny bit of cloud control oil. I only use about two drops. And you're gonna moisturize the ends of your hair and try to tame any frizz that you might have gotten from blow drying or, or uh, try to lay down any flyaways that you might have. And if you have fine hair like me, again, really important to use a really small amount of oil because it can weigh it down if you use too much and just add oil back to your hair after you just washed it. So that's it. I used about two drops, gently apply it to my hair and then you're done. You should have a lot of volume. All right, so that's my step-by-step -step process for how I give my hair volume. Don't forget, go check out Blue Man. I'm linking to them in the description. Their Ascend Volume Cream is awesome, and their cloud control is great for protecting split ends and protecting your cuticles. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Uh, what did I say? Flat, flat, greasy. Flaky, buttery crust. <laughs> Flaky, buttery crust. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I forget what movie that's from. What is it's, it? <laughs> it's, that, it's that commercial that that oh. couple and he can't get the line right. Baked a buttery Flaky. Flaky crust. <laughs> oh yeah, flaky, buttery. Mmm, <laughs> noodle soup. Mmm, <laughs> oh, yeah. soup. The line is mmm, soup. Mmm, noodle soup. Okay, sorry, anyways.